So now you want the answers for your problem set. If you're watching this video, that means that you have already solved your problems. And for today, all you had to do was lesson 12 problem set, question number one, which had four parts. So it says, choose the reasonable product for each expression. For the first one, you had two and five tenths times four. So what we've been practicing is you would say two and five tenths is 25 tenths times four. Four times five is 20. Four times two is eight plus two is 10. 100 tenths. The next step I taught you was to look at this number and think of what is reasonable. Well, two and five tenths would round to three. Three times four is 12. So what would be the most reasonable answer? They provided you with one tenth, one, 10, or 100. And so based on what you see here and what you guys solved, you would probably say the most reasonable answer is 10. And you could explain that with a sentence. You could explain it with an area model. You could explain it lots of different ways. So if I did an area model to prove my thinking, I would say four copies of two ones plus four copies of five tenths. Four times two ones is eight ones. Four times five tenths is 20 tenths. Eight plus two equals 10. So you could solve it that way. You might explain to me how you know that 100 tenths is equal to 10 because we've been practicing that. There's several different ways for you to explain your answer. All right, question number two asked you, three and 14 hundredths times seven. And they gave you some choices. They said it could be 2,198, 219 and eight tenths, 21 and 98 hundredths, or two and 198 thousandths. So to find the most reasonable answer, we would look at our number and we would say, okay, the smallest unit is hundredths. So I know this is 314 hundredths times seven. Seven times four is 28, that's eight ones and two tenths. Four seven times one is seven plus two is nine. Seven times three is 21. Those are the same digits that they gave you. Then the next thing we do is we do some estimation, some rounding. Well, three and 14 hundredths rounds to three. Three times seven is 21. Look over here, which one do you think is the most reasonable? Now at this time point, you, you could say, I think 21 and 98 hundredths is the most reasonable because three times seven is 21 and three and 14 hundredths is just a little bit bigger than three. And if you wrote that sentence, that would totally answer the question. You could also do another area model to prove which one it is. So there's more than one way to answer the question. Let's look at number three. Number three says eight times six and 22 thousandths. And they give you four choices again to choose from. So first we're gonna see what's reasonable. Eight times six and 22 thousandths, we could round that to six, Eight times six is 48. The four choices they gave you are 4.8176, 48.176, 481 and 76 hundredths, or 4,817 and 6 tenths. Just based on even this estimation, which of these numbers do you think could be the right answer? I'm thinking this one too. And you could prove it by doing your own area model, or you could explain to me how you use this estimation technique to figure that out. And either of those would be correct. All right, one more problem. You had to do nine times 
times five and 48 hundredths. I'm gonna do this whole one out again just to make sure you understand. 548 hundredths, my smallest unit is hundredths. 548 hundredths times nine. Nine times eight is 72. Nine times four is 36. Plus seven is 43. Nine times five is 45 plus four is 49. Those are the digits. Your choices were 493 and two tenths, 49 and 32 hundredths, four and 932 thousandths, or 0 0.4932. Next step, do some estimation. Nine times five and 48 hundredths. Well, if I rounded five and 48 hundredths to the nearest whole number, I would say nine times six is 54. At this point, you might have enough information to pick one of these, but these really aren't that close to 54, are they? I still think I know which one it is. So then you might wanna draw your area model. Nine copies of five ones, nine copies of four tenths, nine copies of eight hundredths. Then you solve. Nine times five is 45 ones. I see that, it's kind of running out, my pen. Nine times four tenths is 36 tenths. Nine times eight hundredths is 72 hundredths. Next up, we write our standard form. Is that 45? Yeah. 45 plus 36 tenths is 3.6 plus 72 hundredths. We can set that up. 45 plus 3 and 6 tenths plus 72 hundredths. 6 plus 7 is 13. 8, 9. My answer is 49 and 32 hundredths. All right, so to sum up today's lesson, it's multiplying decimals again, but we're using reasonableness strategy to help us use our vertical algorithm and then figure out where the decimal point would go based on figuring out what a reasonable answer is. We can also solve this using our area model. All right, good job today. And um, you guys can work on your homework next. You might want to take a break from math. You did a lot of math and then work on your homework sometime today. All right, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Remember, if you have any questions, um, send me a message, an email, or a comment. We can always set up a Google Meet so I can go over some of these problems with you if you are having any trouble at all.